turn down the heat. I don't usually do this with eggs. Usually it's like, leave eggs in pan. Forget about eggs. Run back into kitchen on realising the pan is burning. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Cooking Academy Fire and Knives. Yes, that's right. Normally they don't allow me sharp things. Or fire. But just for the purposes of Food Week to celebrate 5,000 subscribers, I've been given access to both. It turns out, having loaded this up, that actually it's more than one game. We've got Cooking Academy, we've got World Cuisine, and we've got Recipe for Success, which is quite exciting. So presumably, if I get through the Cooking Academy, they'll send me to the Red Hot Buffet, <laughs> and I'll just cook there forever. Boing! Let's go. <gasps> what is it about food games and the music? Something. I don't like the fact this has got exams. That bothers me a lot. <laughs> Let's go. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Cooking Academy. It's so nice to see so many new and excited faces. Yeah, because everybody behind you looks really excited. I don't have to work with them, do I? Are you all ready to get your hands dirty making some delicious food? Oh, we will not be having dirty hands on food, thank you. Don't worry if you don't get it at first. After all, you can't make an omelette without breaking some eggs. <laughs> See what you did there? <laughs> I'll be breaking all of them. Interesting view. <coughs> mm. Yeah. Moving on. Freshmen will begin their lessons with the appetizers course. Let's get to work. Hmm. My name is Carmen. Hang on a minute. <laughs> You're not Carmen San Diego in disguise, are you? I think she is, you know. And aside from being your headmistress, I'm also going to be your teacher for the appetizer section of your syllabus. I love seeing new faces and meeting new people. So generally, I helped the first years get settled in. I graduated with a culinary degree from this very school a long time ago. But I first learned how to cook back in the Midwest. Is that why the music? Appetizers are some of my favourite things to make, so let's roll up our sleeves, get started, and most importantly, have some fun. I hope you're all rolling up your sleeves right now. I hope you've all washed your hands. <gasps> what should we do? Gyoza, potato wedges, onion rings, oh my god. Deviled egg, sushi, cheese fondue. I don't know where to start. This is the most amazing thing ever. Egg rolls. Spinach trike. Oh, let's let's do cheese fondue. My grandma used to say that it was a tradition that whoever loses a piece of bread off their fork in the pot has to either buy the next round at a restaurant or kiss everyone at the table. I'm really tempted to say let's not do cheese fondue, but let's cook. Drag the Gruyere left and right. <laughs> really? <gasps> Look. Actually got. <laughs> That's bizarre. What am I pointing at? Oh, I see. <laughs> and then you have to actually knock the cheese off. No. Okay. Ready, steady, great. That is quite strange, isn't it? I'm actually getting scored on grating. Trace the lines to slice up the broccoli. Trace the lines. This is really, really weird. This is so strange. I was, this is almost certainly how you do it in an actual... Like, I don't think they'd mark you in cheese grating, but I think they probably mark you on your use of knives. I wonder when the fire comes into this. They didn't say anything about graters. I've got a funny thing about cheese graters since that screenshot from the 11th hour back in the mid-90s, if anybody remembers that. If you don't remember it, you can go and look it up later and I won't tell you about it, because it'll just put you off this for life. Hmm, got a bit of a bonus there. Now we're going to slice up the carrot. Wah! Wah! What? Wah! Ooh! 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 Okay. Just click on the carrot a lot. Wah! Wah! No, 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 no. Ooh, no, hang on. 
There was a bit of skill involved in that. That's why I got a time bonus of two. Slice the bread into chunks. All right, then I will. <laughs> you know what's really peculiar about this? I've just remembered that yesterday, this is not a word of a lie, I actually bought a new set of knives. I wasn't thinking about this. I honestly did. I don't have a cheese fondue set on the way. I've bought some new pans, some new knives, a new toaster, which some of you might have seen on Twitter yesterday. And a new toasted sandwich maker. And I'm just waiting for the toasted sandwich maker and the pots and pans to turn up today. Well, there we go. Right, cook fondue. Follow the scrolling instructions to make fondue. When the bottom indicator is green, perform the correct action. Okay. Mm. Got some heat. Medium heat. Medium heat? Oh, what? Eh? Yeah, I messed that up. Medium heat. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Add white wine. Oh. Okay. Oh, I've been doing I'm just doing it too. I'm doing it too soon. I'm getting too excited. Low heat. Add Swiss. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm doing this far too quickly, that's why. Stir. Add Gruyere. Oh no, too soon, too soon, Jenny, too soon. This is really strange. Stir. Add Sherry. Got it. Stir. Add Nutmeg. Yes. Got it. Add White Pepper. Got it. Stir. I'm causing quite a stir. Yeah, apparently that was very good. Tilt to pour the Gruyere. Alright, then I will. Tilt it to the line. See, I automatically realised I needed to do it to the line. That's how good I am at cooking. Ooh, I've overdone my Gruyere. Oh no, I think I've overdone that one as well. Oh no, I've underdone that one. Now I've overdone that one. There. Got it. There. Ooh. You see, that all came out in a big lump then. I was a bit over enthusiastic though, I have to admit. This is a bit like your bar in Fallout again, isn't it? Where <laughs> you can't get over a certain number of health points. If you remember, our last video, chocolate video, was also had weird Fallout elements to it. Or maybe it's just me seeing connections in things that aren't there, eh? Plating addition is an important skill. Arrange the fondue as you like. I'd like that there. And I'd like some carrots there, and some bread there, and maybe some more bread there, and maybe some more fondue, now you come to mention it, and some more carrots. You get two bowls of fondue in my restaurant. You're welcome. Why'd you only give me 50 for that? Oh, it's like kind of food, <laughs> it's like food Nice speed techno going on there. I'm coming along quite well. Good. Well, I didn't really enjoy doing that. I was thinking about sushi all the way through and how much I could get the knives out on the sushi. It's so strange how I bought knives yesterday. Knives and pans. I must have been thinking about this, even though I had no idea what this was. Slice a carrot. You all know how to do that. Oh, I'm enjoying chucking my knife around. Surely I got a super speed bonus on that, didn't I? Slice up the avocado. Ooh! Hey up. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Hey, this has got a bit more complicated now. Get rid of the stone. Scoop out the thing. I don't think it's actually possible to do that any quicker. 
move the slider up to dispense rice, drag the rice container into the pot, match the indicator line on the pot. Okay. Dispense rice. I'm over dispensing my rice. Pick up the pot. Put it in there. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Just a little bit more. Oh no. I've over dispensed. I'm sure you can do better than that. I'm sure I can. <laughs> the disgust on her face. I don't doubt it, love. <laughs> I got a bit handy with my rice. But... Oh no, I think I've thrown it on the floor. <gasps> I'm, I'm so terribly sorry. I just threw my rice on the floor. I didn't even know it was possible to do that. <laughs> oh dear. What do you think? About half? No. Just a tiny bit more? Surely that's done, isn't it? No, you don't think that's done? Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that's better. Just be careful of the floor. Follow the scrolling instructions to make the rice... Oh, God. Here we go again. Okay. Put it up to high heat. Stir. Add vinegar. I don't like it when the ingredients start disappearing because I get freaked out about where they might be. Okay. Don't go over the elastic, Danny. Stir now. This is a bit like... You know those sports games where you had to do things at exactly the right time to do a really good ski jump or some really good skating or something? It's like that. But food. Sugar? I hope it is. And cover again. I oh, see I did that without too much horror. <laughs> Spread the rice. Spread the rice. There's the nori. That's seaweed for those in the know. Spread the rice. No. Spread the Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, now I'm spreading what I think might be rice, but equally could be emulsion paint. Do I need to go to the edges, do you think? Is it going to mark me down for not going to the edges? Because I'm only getting a limited amount of time to do this. Ooh. Am I going to get edge control? No. But I did get a super time bonus there. Look at the chef's order and then put the correct ingredients into the sushi. Okay. Look at the chef's order. Avocado and tuna. And roll. Mm. Cucumber and avocado. And roll. Carrot and cucumber and roll. Tuna and cucumber and roll. Cucumber and avocado and roll. Hey, headed all right there. Hey up, it's the knifey bit. Oh, Jenny likes the knifey bit. Ooh, they were neat. I wish I'd taken the blinking music off. You can't hear me knives. Here we go with the plating. Here is the bowl of sauce. Here is the wasabi. <laughs> is that ginger? Here is the ginger. Put that on the edge of the plate there. And then... There is my sushi. Just like... That's a bit rubbish actually, isn't it? Just like what you get, or you used to get, and hopefully we'll get in the future at Woktastic in Birmingham. Hello, Woktastic in Birmingham. <laughs> Sponsor? <clears throat> Not really. They did give me some free food once. Yeah, 180, uh, sorry, 873 out of 900. Absolutely delicious, eh? Well, there we go. Just goes to show. I'm right. Shall we do gyozas? I'm just worried about the exams. What's the exams tab? Got to get a C minus on better on all appetizers. Okay. Have I? Blimey. We might be here a while then. Let's do some gyoza. Did you know that gyoza dates back to the Song Dynasty in ancient China, where it was known as guoti? That makes it over a thousand years old. How dare you imply that my food is over a thousand years old? Mash the garlic. Slice the garlic. Mash the garlic. Slice the garlic. 
Ding. Did all right there. I'm getting this now. I'm getting this now. I kind of understand what I'm doing. Why did I not chop the end off? First. Because I didn't have to. Okay, fine. That was easy. Drag the ingredients into the red bowl. Oh my god, there's food coming at me. That's black pepper. Yes, it is. That's garlic. Yes, it is. That's... That's onion thing. That's... I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it's sugar. Right. How <laughs> weird. I mean, it was fairly obvious what, what was coming, wasn't it? Oh, now I've got to knead. Knead the meat. Ooh. And back the other way. And that way. And that way. And that way. And that way. Ooh. You actually do have to do it properly as well. There's no... <laughs> There's no cheating on this, it's got to be a full circle, as if you're actually doing it with your hand. And that way. And that way. And that way. Okay. A time bonus of six on that. Follow the steps to learn how to fold a gozer. Grab that. Grab that. Do that. Do... Ooh, oh I see, I'm pinching it. <laughs> One of those, some of that. Fold it up. Pinch. It is like actually having to make it. That is really quite odd. It's not what I was expecting at all. I'm actually physically having to make that. It's almost like a kind of a like a Wii game, but using my mouse. In VR, this would actually be hilarious. Is anybody going to do a food making video in VR? Right. If there are any developers out there? I had that idea first. You're gonna owe me money. Deep fry gyoza. Put it in the pot. Put it in the pot. Put it in the pot. Put them all in the pot. Okay. They're all in the pot. What do I do now? Oh, hello. Grab the deep fry gyoza. Oh, I see. <gasps> it wasn't fr well. It looked fried to me. That one burned. Oh, what? I've had a gyoza disaster. Oh no. What's going on here? Right. Shove them all in the pot. Oh, shove them all on the floor. <laughs> they have to be that colour then. Because I thought that I'd, you know, seen one that colour, it wouldn't let me get it. Done. No? They all look done to me, are they not done? Ooh. Right, don't drop the gyoza on the floor. Maybe you do just have to do one at a time. I don't know. I've never made flipping gyoza. No. She thinks these are all wrong. Oh, is it because I'm dropping them on the floor when I should have put them... I get it. It's alright, I've realised what I've done. You have to grab them out, don't you? And put them on here. I was dropping them on the floor, viewer. <laughs> on there. No, on there. Okay, let's just say I was dropping them on the worktop, not on the floor, or on my foot. I've got hot gyoza on my foot! Oh no! There we go. Oh, yeah, very good, yeah. Hmm. I did alright, even though we had a serious gyoza issue. I didn't have to arrange on that. Well, I have to say that to get to breakfast, and lunch, and dinner, and dessert, we're going to be all night. But let's carry on because I'm hungry. What do we fancy? What do we fancy? Egg rolls. Don one literally translates to egg scroll. Well, there you go. Drag the ginger against the grater. That's great. I understand now. Look at me grating. Grating like a loon. My monitor's actually shaking. I'm grating that hard. It's great. Sorry. 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 I can see there's a little timer in the corner now. I didn't really notice that before. Time is up. Oh, maybe there wasn't a timer before. <laughs> Let's dice. Smack the... I know, I know about garlic. Smack the garlic. Do that with the garlic. Smack the garlic. I quite enjoy the smacking of the garlic thing. 
Ну, я их. Trace the lines to slice the onion. Slice it. Do I top and bottom off? Side off? Oh, I was trying to get clever then. And I didn't manage it. You do actually have to do it properly. Like the real knives. That's actually quite difficult to do fast as well. There we go. Tight bonuses aren't very big anyway, are they? Doing alright. Bok choy, eh? Oh, okay, that's a quick choppy thing. Yeah. Drag the carrot left and right. Oh, more grating. It's more grating action. Carrot doesn't get any smaller when you grate it, does it? Or does it? Actually, yes, it is doing. Sorry, I lied. There we go. Oh, it's going to make me do all the carrot, whether I like it or not. Okay. Add the ingredients by using the visual clues. <laughs> Excuse me? Really? I think it's that. How... It's like catchphrase, but for food. How weird is this? It's going to be this one, isn't it? How strange! Well, in that case, there we go. <laughs> By a process of elimination. How peculiar is that? Right, we're folding. We're folding now. We need some of that on there. We're going to fold that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Ooh, it's a bit complicated, isn't it? An egg roll, blimey. Ooh! One of those, that way, that way, that way, that way that way? Is that sort of sealing it or something, doing that? That's folding it in. That's rolling it up. Then across there seems to be some sort of... How interesting. Every single one of these has something slightly different about it. Seal it, roll it, pack it up. I thought I did alright there. 666. Six, six. The egg roll of the beast. Oh no, it's deep frying time. We know what happened last time I did this. Dare I do three? What? Oh no, are they undercooked? Yes, oh dear. I've undercooked me egg rolls. Don't oh no, I've dropped an egg roll. Don't panic. Not cooked. 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 Not cooked. No. Oh. I had to abandon that one on the floor. That was terrible. Are you right? I can do better than that. That was shocking. Maybe two at a time. Got quite a lot of time. Is that done? That's done. That's done. That's done. You rock along with the music while I burn my fingers. Oh no! I missed the pan! Oh, shove them all in. I love the way she's up there ordering. Dip fry egg roll! Do it. Yeah! Only lost one this time. Oh, I didn't do too badly. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> it's the food techno. We see, we only needed three. Only three fitted on a plate. <laughs> right, which of these looks like it might be really interesting? Wedges, onion rings? Onion rings might involve batter. My mummy used to tell me a story about onions. Apparently, back in the Civil War, General Grant sent a telegram to the War Department saying, I will not move my army without onions. Well, bless my soul if he didn't get them the very next day. Well, good for him. All right, I will not do any more videos until I'm given... Oh, no, we could be here a while. <laughs> Let's slice onions. Chew gum. Chew gum while we're doing this so that you don't cry. Ooh, this time it's different slices. Are we going to have to pop out the middles of the onions? <laughs> that would amuse me. Ooh. Got my knifing all wrong there. There we go. Add the ingredients with the... Ooh, what visual clues are we going to get this time? <laughs> really? That is hilarious. <laughs> that, is, that is just so funny. 
food catchphrase. Maybe Mr Chips will turn up, eh? Little reference for 80s UK viewers there. Trace the lines to stir the ingredients together. Nyang. Which it will not let you do. Cheaty-wise. Ooh. I like that, that's really funny. <laughs> Ding! Deep fry? Oh no, oh no. Did I not have to batter them then? Oh, that's a bit disappointing. I thought I was going to have to pop the middles out the onions and... Oh well, I didn't. Grab the onion ring, put it on the thing. Can I get this 100%, you think? Now that I know what I'm doing with the fryer. That music is actually quite annoying. There we go. I've had options in front of me all this time. Probably could have turned it off. There we go. Or, there we go. Ooh, hang on. No, no, no. Don't mess up my progress. I'm doing very well with these onion rings. And last but not least. Can I get a hundred percent onion ring? Yes, I can. Excellent. Oh, I got four hundred and thirteen out of four hundred. Well, <laughs> I didn't get to plate them though, did I? Should we do one more? I do want to do breakfast, lunch, and dinner as dessert. But I'm kind of aware that, you know, you're watching and you might want me to move on. Bruschetta, potato wedges, guacamole, spinach triangles. Oh, let's do deviled eggs. Devils was a term refer used to refer to something that was generously spiced. Follow the scrolling instructions to make hard-boiled eggs. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Turn up the heat on my new pan. Add salt. Turn down the heat. Add egg. Stir. You have to be so patient. Turn up the heat. Stir. Turn down the heat. I don't usually do this with eggs. Usually it's like leave eggs in pan. Forget about eggs. Run back into kitchen on realising the pan is burning. Just me then. It's excellent. Eggs. Oh, too easy. Just too easy. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm taking out the yolks. Okay. Slice. Take out the yolks. Slice. Take out the yolks. Miss, this is a lot of eggs. I'm bored. Take out the yolks. I'm not bored at all. This is food. Excellent. Right, now we're going to have to scramble up the middly thing, aren't we? Mash the egg yolks! <laughs> Mash! Mash the egg... Oh. I want to... What? I'm trying to... Try to mash the egg yolks. Oh! Oh, I can only mash the egg yolk that you decide that I can mash. Well, this is a new one. I thought I was just going to get a round of smacking stuff. Oh. Am I even going to manage to do it in the time now? Maybe just... Click and drag to add ingredients into the red bowl. Here we go. Here we go, folks. With this weirdness. That's one of those. That's one of those. That's one of those. That looks like it's going to be that. That's that. That's uh, that. Ding. 
squeeze the egg filling. <laughs> oh man, this is a new one. Hey. 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 Hey, I'm quite good at that. Oh god, there's loads more of them. Oh no! I've underdone the egg. Sorry, chef. I'm not sorry at all. wasn't too bad. Ding! Oh, I want some parsley on there. Why did I not get to shake the pepper over the top as well? Oh! For accumulating 3,500 recipe points, we are proud to present you with the bronze trophy. I won an award. I won an award for my food. <laughs> Go me. Well, I have to say, that's quite an odd game in its way and I'm really really hungry now because essentially I have just been cooking properly <laughs> that was really interesting though I'd really like the fact that each one of these has a different skill to it so I'm intrigued by the potato wedges because you're gonna have to cut up the potatoes and fry them but it won't be quite the same as the onion rings will it because nothing's ever quite the same and like with triangles I'm gonna have to mash some stuff up and fold the triangles but for some reason it won't be quite the same as the egg rolls that's really fascinating. Bruschetta, I wonder what that's about. Well, I'm just intrigued now. Um, if you're equally intrigued and you'd like to see the rest of this food, or you'd like me to do this in the comfort and safety of my own home and then move you on to breakfast, lunch and dinner, then, uh, then do let me know. But I think that was really intriguing. That is Cooking Academy, Fire and Knives. And bearing in mind, chaps, that there are also two other games to this. One of them is World Cuisine, and the other one I can't remember. But they all seem to evolve really genuinely hands-on dealing with food. If you want more genuine hands-on dealing with food, give it a like and give it a comment. See you later! Gameplay Jenny.